Ain't no five no singles, don't count on them. Hey, she want it like me, cause I know she can count on them. She try to be nosy and hit her like, she like, girl, you can get... But I wouldn't trade I wouldn't with you trade. Early I'm up yeah. I can't spend the day with you I'm out of my business uh. I ain't getting paid with you nope. My color bright yep. I ain't finna fade with you Man, I gotta come clean Like I'm made with clean. you I didn't know my everybody dropped When, when I, I drop yeah. Look at shorty She uh. support bra uh. Lifting up Never not on my grind New York City time Another brother better You will never find uh. I've been in my bag like groceries Competition shouldn't take shots Take notes please yeah. Yeah. Uh. Reporting live from the winter side Ready to try, keep a different vibe Is you down the ride, never tired You will never know, you ain't never try Work it out, hit the gym, hit the field hit the Hey yo, I need that Big chips, man, I need that Hustle hard on the job, you can see that On my head is real good, we don't need your feedback They clear the way with my crew coming through What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the big rings What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the big rings Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the big rings yeah. Beats, leave it in the street, in the case on the news What I do, lace up my shoes, chase W's Great colored coops, who oh, no, no, I can't be number two MVP the league, most valuable, they sweet as apple juice Talking trophies, I didn't grab the few, can't match this attitude I wear my heart on my sleeve, please I move like the wind, can't catch this breeze, freeze Stop you in your tracks, there's not no preseason We seeking W's like Tupac used to throw up Forget it, might as well forfeit your team, shouldn't even show up What you wanna be when you grow up? They used to ask me, naturally I chose an athlete Competition never matched me. We ain't go together like camouflage and polka dots. Focus on your position, just know your spot. Show don't stop. It's a long season. They planning on winning for the wrong reasons. Trying to get my number retired. Can't let these frauds beat us. I figured out the recipe. Never let opponents get the best of me. I'm focused on my legacy. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard on the job, you can see that. On my head is real good, we don't need your feedback. They clear the way with my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. Yeah. Leave it, beats, leave it in the street, case on the news.
All right, Coach, coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports brings us to Southern California and Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson. Straight ahead, it's a clash to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl, and it'll be a great one between the Jacksonville Jaguars and our home team. The winner here goes to the Super Bowl, and we'll know soon enough which team that'll be as we are underway in the AFC title game. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. At their own 26-yard line. A first carry for Leonard Fournette. And he'll hope that this is not a sign of what's in store as he has to fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. There's Foles. They're connecting here with DJ Shark. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Now Leonard Fournette. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. A gain of 13. It's a first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. <laughs> Fournette, a first down carry. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. And that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. <laughs> On second and 12. Foles. And the catch made here by Marquise Lee. And yeah, he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now Foles. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And the return stops just a few yards shy of midfield. They'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. Telvin Smith that time there to make the play. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Fighting through. And he's going to take this across midfield into Jacksonville territory. All right, Brian, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Looking to throw. Costello. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. 
So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to throw. Costello. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Josh Allen able to drop him for a loss of a couple. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Here's Gordon. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third and about seven left. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Looking to throw. Costello. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. That's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. So distance, not the issue there. He had plenty of leg to get it there. It's that darn upright getting in the way. Always gets in the way of a good time, doesn't it? Because he hit it square, too. Sometimes you can bank one in if you get it on the end of the football. No such luck there for him. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jatavis Brown. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a time? Closer. Yeah, oh, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Second and 13. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against the zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. Now a pass hauled in downfield. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. To throw on second down, Costello. The linebacker, Miles Jack, able to knock that one away. Miles Jack can just flat out cover. Doesn't matter who's out there, and he can do it really well in man. How about what he just did there in zone, though? Eyes in the right place, saw where the ball was going, reacted appropriately, and knocked it away. And caught by Henry. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 33. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And he gets it down to the 32. Just a one-yard pickup on the play. And it's a second down. Second and nine now. Finds the open man, it's Mike Williams. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 20-yard line. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available or put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing round. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. 
Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Back to throw. Costello. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Josh Allen able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Badgley able to punch this one through. And the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Ah, you like Come that on. one? What does that mean, break out the... Just because you break, you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. Foles and the Jags come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. AFC title game, second quarter action, two minutes to play. A reminder, as we've done all year, we'll send you to Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report in a bit. The coach is with us per usual. As we start to look ahead, Charles, to our potential matchups in this year's Super Bowl. Break it down, coach. Break it down. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The running back, Leonard Fournette, his intended receiver. But now it'll be third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Foles. Incomplete. He had his hands on it but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. A man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before, almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, it really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. The Charger drive about to get going. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. That throw into the arm of Allen, and he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. And the Jags with five in the secondary now on third down. Operating from the gun, Costello, and he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. You're down three under a minute to go. How aggressive are you going to be in this spot? Not as aggressive as I probably would want to be. Only down three. I mean, it might as well be even going into the half. That's not a deficit that makes me want to push it and potentially make a mistake in this situation and cost myself even more points. But boy, getting in a field goal range and tying it, that's tempting. Awfully enticing. You almost talked me into it. Come up second and six now from the 24. Second and six. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jerry Tillery coming right up the gut. Gets in there for a loss of nine. 
And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Well, Foles and the Jags now have to deal with a third and long after that sack. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The Charger drive about to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. Get it ready. 15 first time. On first down, Costello, he completes it to Henry. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Now the second year kicker, Michael Badgley. He hit from 59 as a rookie. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. Now the second year kicker, Michael Badgley. He hit from 59 as a rookie. 64 was Matt Prater's record. This would top that by a yard. That's running out of steam and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. So we come upon halftime in the AFC title game. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. One more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC championship. Let's go, boys. Bring it up. The Charger drive about to get going. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. Here's second and eight. This pass complete to Higgins. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did. And obviously, they liked his measurables. Otherwise, they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. This one complete into the hands of Higgins. Second catch of this AFC title game, but he's got a first down. Now a 10th carry for Melvin Gordon. Miles Jack there to make the tackle. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Looking to throw on second down. Costello, open man is Higgins. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. So in Jacksonville territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 43. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. In the pocket, chucked it away. Flag comes down. 
So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field. Have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw. Costello. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. A heck of a play there on third down, but amazingly, they're still short for fourth. Here's Badgley now for the Charger field goal. From the right hash, this from 53. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Yeah, they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Back to throw. And he completes it to Westbrook. Second catch of this AFC title game, but he's got a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. This is Fournette. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll run it again with Fournette. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of one. And that is going to set up a third and one. Here we go. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Let's go! Focus, defense, focus. They'll run on first down. It's Taylor. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fit and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Second and three. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. They'll look to throw here. That's out to his running back, Fournette. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Hey, here we go. I got you. I got you. 
They'll look to throw here on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. A shotgun give to Fournette. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. That one complete. He finds Sharp. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. Foles now five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. They'll run with Fournette. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. here, second and 11. 49, 49. Yeah, go, 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 go. 49. Second and 11. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Joey Bosa, it'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Well, Foles and the Jags now have to deal with a third and long after that sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. Jerry Tillery picks up his second sack of the afternoon. But this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. I guess the good news as they start this drive is that they, they still do have the lead, Charles. If their defense hadn't been able to hold them to a field goal on the other side, they'd be down. But now it's about preserving that very small lead. It is preserving and maybe stretching it out a little bit. Because if you're a starter on that side of the ball, I certainly hope you didn't loosen up your shoulder pads or start to cut the tape off. Because if you did, you did it way too soon. They've got to go back out there with renewed vigor for lack of a better term, and also a good plan. They need points, and they need them now. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially, no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. Sets up the screen to Gordon. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. He's back to throw. This is Jeff Swain, the tight end. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 
That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville and a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll look to throw. That is caught by Josh Oliver, the former San Jose State Spartan. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Back to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 46. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Ready, ready. 30 base. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. And they will take a knee here. Charles, let's focus for a second on the losing side. In a couple months, they may look back and say, wow, you know, it was a great season. But right now, I guarantee they're feeling no sugarcoating on this one. And you can already see the T-shirts at training camp next year, can't you? Unfinished business. Because they've got to find a way to motivate these guys to go through all the same pain, right? All the same tough stuff and find their way back and give themselves a chance to win this game again next year. And that does it for the conference championship. For Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And for our entire crew, we'll see you two weeks at the Super Bowl. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Yeah. 
Wind up and up, it's magic. With the gang, we ball out, it can't get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you, let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dream's reality, not going back to back to back. To. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laughing. Now I hit the scene, they like lights, camera action. Living in a dream, now my music, they be blasting. Step out, I'm a star, always in the latest fashion. Had to set the bar, bar, try to catch me lacking. Bank account for my son, he won't have to struggle. You can see it in my eyes, all I do is hustle. They tried to knock me off my feet, I'm ready to rumble. Feel like I ain't eight in weeks, working off the muscle. Oh yeah, oh my, we ride for my brothers, no lie. All you, all you can die, never wrong, they right. I ain't changing my side, yeah, we in it for life. Yeah, I've been up it's magic. With the gang, we ball out, it can't get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you, let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dream's reality, not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laugh. Hey, how could you lie to my face? People claim that they be loyal, they be taking up space. See my broski lose his heart when he was fighting that case. Took so many yells, I'm not going back to those days. I'ma treat you how you treat me, do you like how it tastes? Shawty use a use of can't treat you like my ace i got way too many problems to be worried i'm straight me and craig the fault Out, it can't get tragic all we got we gonna let you let you have it stuck in my ways think i need to change my habits what would you do if you were me and didn't have it? look in the mirror now i'm feeling like a savage tell my son i love him for him i'ma make it happen now my dream's reality not going back to back to back you say that you proud of me i turn my back you laughing Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Are you ready? Get ready, now. Jump to the rhythm as hard as you can go. Keep it steady. steady. To the 
rocket like rocket fuel. Girl, you can count on him. Hey, hey. We need more, tell him we need more. Putting numbers on. 